What's going on YouTube? Fernando here and I'm back with another video. Today I had some time on my hands so I thought I'd film a very very short video for you guys. Two pickups and let's just get straight into them. First off we have the Vizim FBT in the Elk. Let me see why isn't this focusing? There we go. This is the Elk in a tan. You have your little tassels on the back that look freaking sweet when you walk. Moccasin toe. I don't know if it's just me, but these definitely remind me of a beagle. I don't know why, like the color. These look like the ears of a beagle. I have my shoe trees in them just because like they needed a, uh, I was wearing them like an entire day. Very, very comfortable shoe. Before I say anything else, these are extremely comfortable. I would say as to right now, from my experience, these are the most, these are the most comfortable designer sneakers you can purchase. You have VisVim on the side. Let's see if I can get it. Is it gonna focus? Maybe if I do manual focus. There you go. So that's the shoe. You got your rubber sole. As I said, I've wear I've worn them a couple times. You got Vibram on the bottom. It's not wanting to focus. Um, but yeah, overall extremely awesome shoe. Let me hold one so I'm not fumbling fumbling it. Let's see if we can get close with the leather. There you guys go. You guys can kind of get a feel like with like the way the light hits it. It's just very very buttery. Got the flap right here, which is really weird because it's like not really on the shoe, which I thought was interesting. Leather laces, Vism tag right here, and yeah, overall an extremely awesome sneaker. I do think it's weird how this skirt is like different. It's a different cut on each shoe, I believe. Actually, no, I was just being stupid. It's the same cut. But yeah, overall, awesome sneaker. If you guys want more, like, on foot look of these, check out my Instagram. I'll be sure to post a picture of these at some point when I get it, when I get just get around to doing it. And if not, I am filming a fall lookbook. So if you guys want to be patient, I know you guys have already been being really patient with me, but um, I am working very diligently on this lookbook. It's going to be, and it's honestly going to be one of my favorite videos of all time. But um, with that said, you guys will see those shoes more in depth, on body, styled, and everything in that lookbook. So just be patient with me. If not, just follow me on Instagram. I'll be sure to post a picture as soon as possible. And with that said, that brings us to the next pickup. This is the John Elliott Iridescent Bomber. As you guys can see, it is iridescent, so it goes from like an eggplant color to a green. The sun just went away, so it looks more so green right now. If the sun comes back, it'll probably look purple. That's how it works. We got the silver Riri zips on the top and the bottom. You have your black ribbing with like, I forget how John explained this, but it was basically just like thicker right here. It's kind of really interesting, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Sleeve right here. You got your black cuff black ribbing all along the bottom with the same like dual thing right there on the collar yeah you your bomber surrogate cigarette surrogate cigarette zip right there by Riri black cuff and you guys can see here it's changing colors now because the sun the sun is back out and lastly John Elliott on the tag right there and you guys can see it is quilted polyester on the inside overall and by the way I got these Visvims in a nine and a half no in a nine my bad and I did pick up this jacket in a size three which is a large I could have gone medium but I needed it to layer because that's the point in getting a bomber because it's gonna be colder when you wear it so I got a large I have a ton of room to layer so I can do probably three or four total layers with this so um, yeah there you guys go. I do have a picture of me wearing this on Instagram, so you guys can check that out if you guys wish to. And with that said, that about wraps it up for today, guys. I know it's super, super quick. I just thought I'd share the pickups before I get jumbled with a ton of pickups, and then I just put it off too long. Then it's too long of a video. I thought I'd do this. That's about it for today, guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.